We Marines are good at three things, math and using knives. What's going on guys today i got a knife review for you and this is the new survive knives gso 5.1 we've done the 5.1 in the past but this is a new and improved version if you didn't know the survive knives gso 5.1 is a full size medium utility knife it has the same blade profile as the old 5.1 but a completely re-engineered handle that has been recontoured and lengthened for those guys with larger hands or you can you know change position of your hands the knife has a 5.75 inch blade length and a little over 10 inches overall so i was really happy you know the 5.1 had been my favorite survival knife for a while my, my old version i had the very first version and this new version i'm telling you i really fell in love with it and we'll kind of talk a little bit more about the new features. My version is a CPM 20 CV. You can also get a CPM 3V. What I really like about this new version is this new coating here. Uh, I'll show you an old version here. This is my uh, five, and you can kind of see the difference there. So this one's got a little bit more of a matte finished, and man, I've tried to really mess it up and and stuff like that, and and to no avail i mean the thing all you gotta do is scrub it off and it looks com completely fine again uh, this old version had a slight problem with having a rounded corner so you had to get a ferro rod notch with the new version that is not a problem as i'll demonstrate so you can see i'm going all the way down the back of the blade and the whole back of the spine is sharp enough to strike a fair CM rod. And I know that was a concern with a lot of people out there. The new model, this, I have G10 handles on this. You can also get micarta. Like this is the, uh, this is micarta here. This is the G10 camo. Now, like I said, the handle's been re-engineered for a longer length, but it also has the torx t25 style fasteners and you can pick up these little tools anywhere now the benefit of this is one it looks great and most people have these laying around they don't even know it but you can see in the old style barrel nuts here that dirt and dust and grime can get into it and it doesn't meet flush with the other side the other thing is is these uh 
flat type style flat heads can become worn or stripped so that's uh not going to happen with these t25s it gives a tighter lock up uh, whenever you're unfastening the uh still has the uh lanyard hole the hidden lanyard hole feature which i really like it's a lot more open up than the older versions and something else you'll notice a lot of people complain about back in the day is that i mean his or survived knives attention to detail is just awesome because you can't even see any type of uh i mean it's total perfection on the jimping here you can't see any type of differentiation between any of the uh, grooves here but you know this knife is pretty much perfection in in my opinion i can't find any kind of flaw with this knife um, super uh, great steel choice phenomenal finish and it's non-reflective so if you're uh, you know in a, a military or something like that you need a you know tactical situations where you don't need a reflective blade not going to be reflective you can choose between a g10 or a micarta you know depending on your environments you're going to be dealing with and uh, the new fasteners and the hand ergonomics have always impressed me with survive so so really man survive in my opinion makes the best uh, bar none survival knives i've seen i've used uh, just to be honest with you um, i've used lots i've liked lots of knives and i still do like lots of knives but in my opinion the, they do make the best there are let's talk about the new redesigned sheath as well for just a minute this is the old model sheath. It was a pancake style, meaning two slabs of kydex together. The new is a taco, which gives it a, a slighter, you know, thinner profile than the uh, older model. So it's got a fold over here, which gives it a rounder edge. And this is the part that's going to be close to your body. So that's good. I do like that. Um, very, very fine, uh, smoothed out finish on the sides. Still has the drain canal going through the entire length of the blade which i like but i do i do like the way this looks a lot better than the old versions they did a phenomenal job with that still has the same type of clip system that could clip on a belt or uh, pals webbing so just i uh, wanted to show that as well that new and improved design um to me this is one of the uh i guess most all around survival knives like if i was only to have one knife this would probably be it because it can do most all tasks it's still lightweight enough you know to be such a large knife and it can accomplish most all tasks and it has the laser engraving of survive knives and uh, peter's heat treat here and the blade steel as well as an american flag on this side but uh like I said, I really enjoy this knife and I like the saber grind because it is the toughest and you've seen it past that, you know, tip test that uh, a lot of knives will fail. Uh, I could do this all day because steel should be tougher than wood, right? So uh, anyhow, like I said, man, they make some of the best stuff that I've seen or used. Uh, I've been using them for years and I've yet to destroy any of them. Uh, they're still just as good as the day I brought them out the box. So check this out at Survive Knives. Check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.